먼저 이 에너지 밸런스에 대해서 간단한 영상을 좀 볼게요. Whenever there's a temperature difference between the interior of a building and outdoors, we're going to try to shrink down that portion that is attributed to the heating gains as much as possible to the um, heating side of the gains as much as possible. So we're going to go into each of those categories and try to optimize it uh, to reduce the overall height of the losses column. so that our heating system doesn't have to work so hard and deliver so much energy. We will pick high performance windows and optimize their solar orientation. So triple glazed, good insulated frame and a good installation detail. And lastly, when it comes to our ventilation system, we're going to pick a ventilation system uh, that includes heat recovery so that the warm air that's being evacuated from the building is going to preheat the fresh air coming in. So these five principles are uh, kind of the building blocks of passive house. And uh, there where we spend a lot of time, a lot of design time. And uh, the outcome of that is that we can reduce the heating demand of a building by 75 to 90 percent compared to a building that just meets the minimum requirements of the building code. 내가 쓰는 에너지를 최대한 줄이고 얻을 수 있는 에너지를 최대한 늘리면 어느 순간 얘네들이 그래프상 제로가 되면 이게 넷째로입니다. 사실 이 패시브를 구현하고 이런 고단열 주택을 구현하는 데 있어 가지고 제가 굉장히 아쉬운 게 뭐냐면 저 같은 이런 업체나 이 관련 된 일을 하는 분들이 이런 말을 굉장히 어렵게 해요. 이건 제 개인적인 생각인데요. 국내 패시브 현황을 보면은 어떤 분들은 패시브를 뭐 굉장히 기술 집약적이고 뭐 대단한 것처럼 얘기하는 분들도 있고 어떤 분들은 기본적인 원리도 모르면서 뭐 패시브는 이렇다 저렇다 얘기하는 분도 있습니다. 뭐 벽체만 두껍다고 다 패시브가 되는 건 아니죠. 